Hi everybody, it's Kim Wilson here and welcome to our June card class. It's been a little while since I've uh, seen you here in the group on video and so it's good to be back. This is our 39th uh, guide, so all the PDFs are up in guide 39 and um, let's get started with the first card. Um, I'm using the Fresh as a Daisy Suite with the Cheerful Daisies bundle for all three of the cards today, but if you don't have that suite, you can hop over to my website, kwstampinup.net, and grab that. Or you can um, use any floral set or uh, really anything um, that you have on hand to do the designs that we're working today. I think they're pretty um, useful for just about anything, but I do love this Fresh as a Daisy suite. It's really been a lot of fun to play with. So um, before I forget, um, I do have an alternate sample for our favorite layout today. So this is the card we're going to make today. And then this is one I did a while back, but really it has the same layout. So it has a sentiment. Um, instead of having a stamped um, background, it has designer series paper, which is on sale this month by the way, so, and instead of having a single frame for the f image, it has a double frame, where I just kind of tucked one frame inside the other, and these frames are really easy to make with um, the stylus shapes dies, or any nesting dies, just put the two dies together so you get the frame cut out, and then um, easy to go. All right, so let me grab my kit here, and we'll get started with, uh, with this one. All right. So we're going to be using a lot of the new colors today, so that's exciting. And um, this blue is the Azure Afternoon. Isn't that a cool name? So love that. And um, this is just our just a really simple layout that you can use over and over again. And I'm just going to take the um, the little cluster of daisies. And I'm going to stamp it in kind of a diagonal pattern. So nothing um, really thought out. Just kind of stamp it across the way. You get kind of a diagonal pattern there. Okay. Oh, and I picked the wrong color. I'm supposed to use it as your afternoon. I'm looking and seeing why is that not the right color? because that was boho blue. Let me try that again with Azure Afternoon so it will actually match my cardstock. Yeah, that's better. You have to do that twice. All right, and then we're gonna start adding our pieces. So start the assembly process. Add a little glue for the mat here and again you can use designer series paper for this if you don't have um, a stamp that you want to use to stamp across just grab your favorite paper and it makes a nice um, addition to this layout and then of course the the little frame and I cut this one out of the pebbled path so we used another another new in color for the frame and if you wanted to you could always pop this up on with little mini dimensionals too. I should have my silicone mat here so I don't get glue all over the place. Okay, and then I, I like to put um, put it just a little bit above, like in thirds, so that you don't not it's not smack dab right in the center. Okay, and then my sentiment um, will also stamp that in Azure Afternoon. And I should have done this first before I glued it on because. No, I have no wiggle room for mistakes. Always stamp first, then glue. And I did not obey my own rule there. Okay, now we're going to put together the um, the daisy. And the daisy die cuts come in two different pieces. So if you're making a traditional um, Shasta daisy, you'd want to do white on white and get that layer in there. But um, since I wanted to try out some of the new in colors, I'm doing wild wheat. And actually, we just got some new flowers called gazanias, which I've never planted before, and they have kind of two tones on their petals. So that's, you can make all sorts of different um, patterns. And you kind of have to wiggle that around to find the, the spot that matches up. So I think I have it right now. So 
think it's about right there. Yep, that looks good. And it's got kind of this wonky little cutout in the, in the center. And I think I'm going to, um, what I did was grab my um, sponge dauber and some wild wheat ink. And now the wild wheat is, is, my pad is really juicy and it's kind of dark. So I just, I want to do it very lightly because it's kind of a dark color. So I'm just going to very, very lightly tap a little color around the center just to add a little something there, maybe a little bit more. All right, that looks good. And then we'll grab some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm trying to use up some of these sheets from Paper Pumpkin. I have all these almost used up sheets of Dimensionals, so maybe we'll get this one used up. All right, well, there's our easy layout card and then our alternate um, the alternate I used the sentimental park bundle um, so use whatever you have on hand or grab uh, grab this from the store I do want to mention that the daisy um, dies are on back order well they're not available right now so but they are coming back in like two weeks so check back in two weeks in the dies that was a really popular bundle so they're out for the moment but they'll be back shortly Okay, I'll be back in one minute with um, um, the next card, and I'm trying to read Kim's uh, comment here. Oh, she said, tap the Azure Afternoon in the middle. Yeah, that would be cool, too. Have a blue center for the flower. I'll have to try that on the next one. Okay, so back in a minute with the second card. Happy crafting.